Hello, and welcome to this comprehensive training session on gonadurelin, a peptide used to regulate hormonal function and treat conditions related to reproductive health and endocrine disorders. In this session, we will cover the mechanism of action, clinical applications, dosage protocols, risks, benefits, alternatives, and patient considerations for using gonadurelin. Additionally, we will review three clinical case studies and discuss recommended laboratory evaluations to ensure safe and effective use. Let's begin. Gonadorlein is a synthetic analog of gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GnRH, which is naturally produced in the hypothalamus. GnRH plays a critical role in regulating the release of two key reproductive hormones, luteinizing hormone, LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. These hormones are essential for the development and function of the gonads, ovaries in females and testes in males. Clinically, gonadorolin is used to treat reproductive hormone imbalances, infertility, and certain endocrine disorders. It is also used diagnostically to assess pituitary function. Gonadorolin is FDA approved for specific indications and widely studied for its potential in reproductive health and hormonal optimization. Gonadorolin acts on the pituitary gland to stimulate the release of luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. Luteinizing hormone, LH, stimulates ovulation in females and testosterone production in males. Follicle stimulating hormone, FSH, promotes the development of ovarian follicles in females and supports spermatogenesis in males. When administered as a single bolus dose, gonadurelin causes a transient surge in LH and FSH. In contrast, continuous administration of gonadurelin can suppress LH and FSH secretion due to downregulation of GnRH receptors in the pituitary gland. This dual mechanism allows gonadurelin to be used in both therapeutic and diagnostic settings, depending on the treatment goals. Gonadurelin has a variety of clinical uses, including hormonal replacement therapy, used in individuals with hypogonadism or low sex hormone levels due to pituitary dysfunction. Fertility treatment, stimulates ovulation in females with anovulation, enhances spermatogenesis in males with fertility challenges. Diagnostic use, evaluates pituitary gland function by assessing LH and FSH response to a GnRH challenge test. Delayed puberty, stimulates the onset of puberty in individuals with delayed development due to hormonal deficiency. Sexual dysfunction supports testosterone production in males experiencing erectile dysfunction related to low testosterone levels. Adjunct in hormonal therapy helps prevent testicular atrophy in males undergoing testosterone replacement therapy by stimulating endogenous testosterone production. Benefits the potential benefits of gonadurelin therapy include stimulation of natural hormone production, reducing reliance on exogenous hormones, restoration of normal reproductive function in cases of infertility or hormonal imbalance, diagnostic clarity in evaluating pituitary and hypothalamic function, prevention of testicular atrophy in males undergoing testosterone replacement therapy, minimal side effects compared to long-term use of exogenous hormones. Risks. Gonadurelin is generally safe when used appropriately, but potential risks include fluctuations in hormone levels leading to temporary symptoms such as mood swings, headache, or fatigue, local injection site reactions including redness or discomfort, overstimulation of the ovaries leading to ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, rare, hormone-related side effects such as breast tenderness or mild acne, close monitoring can help mitigate these risks and ensure a safe treatment course. Alternatives Alternative therapies to gonadorlin include for hormonal replacement, testosterone replacement therapy or estrogen progesterone therapy, for fertility treatment, clomiphene citrate, letrozole, or direct use of gonadotropins like human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, for diagnostic testing, LH and FSH serum levels without stimulation testing, for supporting endogenous testosterone production, selective estrogen receptor modulators, SERMs, like tamoxifen or clomiphene. Gonadurelin is typically administered via subcutaneous or intravenous injection. 
For diagnostic testing, dose 100 micrograms as a single intravenous bolus. Measure LH and FSH levels at 15, 30, and 60 minutes post-administration to assess pituitary function. For fertility treatment in females, dose 100 to 250 micrograms injected subcutaneously daily during the follicular phase of the menstrual cycle. For hormonal support in males, dose 100 micrograms subcutaneously every one to three days depending on clinical goals. Treatment duration. Protocols vary based on individual needs but typically range from four to 12 weeks. Repeat cycles may be needed for fertility or hormonal restoration. Comprehensive laboratory testing is essential before and during gonadarillin therapy to guide treatment and monitor efficacy. Baseline testing, serum testosterone, luteinizing hormone, and follicle-stimulating hormone levels. Estradiol levels in females. Comprehensive metabolic panel and complete blood count. Monitoring. During treatment, serial measurements of LH, FSH, and sex hormones to assess response. Ultrasound monitoring of ovarian follicles in females undergoing fertility treatment. Semen analysis for males with fertility concerns. Post-treatment. Evaluate hormonal balance and fertility status after therapy completion. Case study 1. Male with hypogonadism. A 40-year-old male presents with symptoms of fatigue, low libido, and low testosterone levels confirmed by laboratory testing. Treatment protocol, gonadorolin, 100 micrograms injected subcutaneously every other day for eight weeks. Outcome, testosterone levels increased by 50%, with improvements in energy, libido, and mood by week six. Follow-up testing confirmed maintenance of testicular size and normal sperm count. Case study, two, female with anovulation. A 32-year-old female with a history of polycystic ovary syndrome presents with infertility and irregular menstrual cycles. Treatment protocol, gonadorolin, 200 micrograms injected subcutaneously daily during the follicular phase for two cycles. Outcome, the patient achieved regular ovulation within two cycles and pregnancy was confirmed in the third cycle of treatment. Case study three, diagnostic use in delayed puberty. A 15-year-old male with delayed puberty undergoes a GnRH stimulation test to evaluate pituitary function. Testing protocol, gonadorelin, 100 micrograms administered as an intravenous bolus. Outcome, LH and FSH levels increased appropriately post-administration, confirming normal pituitary response and ruling out hypogonadotropic hypogonadism. In conclusion, gonadorelin is a versatile and effective peptide for treating hormonal imbalances, supporting fertility, and diagnosing pituitary dysfunction. By stimulating natural hormone production, it provides a targeted approach with minimal side effects compared to exogenous hormones. Proper patient selection, regular monitoring, and adherence to treatment protocols are essential for achieving optimal outcomes with gonadorelin therapy. Want to introduce peptide therapy to your patients? Get certified with our free course at freepeptidetraining.com.